Welcome back. Well, whether you choose to walk, drive, fly, or take the bus, transportation impacts us all now more than ever. And with the collapse of the Key Bridge, getting around is proving to be a challenge for so many people. Yeah, we knew this would be a reality. This is why federal transportation leaders visiting Morgan State University now to see what transportation researchers are doing to help out. Today, Reese, on your corner in Northeast Baltimore with an up close look now at the cutting edge technology that may make your commute a little bit better. Dr. Ali Ansariar is on a team of researchers at Morgan State University looking at new ways to help Maryland commuters get around better. Uh, I mean, we just wanted to see what's going to happen on the network. This work comes after the collapse of the Key Bridge and traffic shifted around Baltimore. It's important for people because uh, uh, they want to know how they can reroute on the network, what's going to happen on the travel time. Dr. Ansariar presented his work to the U.S. Department of Transportation research team Thursday, giving them an analysis of traffic patterns before and after the collapse. On the uh, 95, after rerouting the vehicles, especially truck drivers. One scenario focusing on ramp meters, a traffic signal placed along freeways to help control traffic. They've you know, analyze how traffic is being rerouted because of the disaster at the bridge and the port. And so they at, uh, at Morgan State are really trying to figure out how to best, you know, direct traffic so there's less congestion. Federal and state leaders on site also got a first hand account of the research being done by Morgan State students and how their insights could work in real life traffic scenarios. Transportation is going to be one of the biggest challenges that the state faces and it's how we remain globally competitive. So the solutions are going to come right here. It's going to impact the community, it's going to impact the economy. And one day change the landscape of transportation in the region. All the people that are here, we're going to be able to build back better. The researchers we spoke with told WJZ that they were able to get a lot of this work done within one month and they hope to see it in action very soon. For now reporting, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.